Hello and welcome to another episode on uh, Sound of Omnes. I'm Omnes and today we're doing the top 10 songs that you shouldn't listen to with your parents. So I'm guessing they're saying hair metal, uh, full blown pop music, ABBA or something. Well, ABBA is pretty nice to listen to. So probably death metal, black metal, you know, heavy genres, Cannibal Corpse. Mayhem, Burzum, you know, heavy bands, weird bands, disturbing bands, in that, in that uh, order, should I ever go, I forgot the order, but <laughs> let's just go with that. Uh, yeah, so Watch Mojo shouldn't, maybe, Watch Mojo shouldn't exist, <laughs> burn, yeah, it's the second one, top of the songs you shouldn't listen to with your parents, uh, I believe Salt and Peppa is on there. For some reason, that's uh, probably a sex song. Uh, some left ugly dudes and looks like Steel Panther in a way. That right one, I don't fucking know what that is. <laughs> looks like a Christina Aguilera wannabe, but I mean, imitating shit is not really complimentary. But whatever. I mean, I don't really. Yeah, just what I said. Just heavy, heavy bands, Megadeth, uh, Metallica. I guess you know. Bands like that, but they're probably not going with that. They're probably going with sexual tinted songs, so there we go. So think about the last video and yeah, you know, add it to this. That's probably that's probably this list. Tonight I'm fucking you. No. He made it obvious that holy shit I spoke fucking loud there. How high was that no? I don't even know. I have no control over my voice. That was fucking high. Bony. I mean, uh, you shouldn't listen to this song in general. <laughs> oh, good joke. Oh, that was actually a good joke. <laughs> I'm such a dipshit. Dirty. I mean... Well, no, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> I still want some YouTube revenue, so let's not go there. You tonight, the notorious B.I.G. featuring R. Kelly. Nice. Real clever. Fuck you tonight. Not, not even subtle. He just wants you. This slow jam begins with innocent opening words from Big himself. But the mood quickly changes once the truly notorious R. Kelly jumps in with his blunt declaration for the evening's activities. A uh, spade jam, what the fuck? If the chorus doesn't have your parents giving you the stink eye, the lyrical musings of Biggie Smalls most certainly will. Hey mom, want to listen to some oldies? <laughs> <laughs> yep. That was a good line. A bit cringy, but that's ex that's uh, expected from what Mojo, of course. Top ten songs you didn't know were about sex. Whistle. Are you fucking kidding me, Watch Mojo? <laughs> that's that's one of the most obvious sex songs ever. But whatever. Uh, killing in the name. I would bless the shit out of this with my parents. Fucking up. Killing in the name. Rage against the machine. This is fucking awesome. I don't give a shit about bears here. It is. This rap metal group truly sticks it to the man on this classic track. Told ya. I don't like that told ya. Don't you die. I justify. Fucking awesome. Yeah, you know, yeah, the lyric on the bit. I, I don't think my, my parents will focus on that. Uh, but the final lines, I get why I should turn off this song. Fuck you, don't do what you tell me. You know, that, that line right there. I guess. But it's fucking up. It's fucking rage. Of course I'm gonna bless it through the out. Of course. Despite having a minimal amount of lyrics, this protest song is yeah. for strong language and repeating a certain word 17 times. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, don't do what you tell me. Fuck you, I won't do it, you tell me. Probably this song and probably some Death Punk songs are like the greatest repetitive ass songs ever. I fucking love that. And throw some ACDC tunes in there too. 
Although I can't really think of an ACDC lyric that is repetitive because lyrically ACDC, from what I know, they are, well, I'm not going to say diverse, but they are, you know, they change it up. In the most general, I'm using changing it up in the most generous way ever. You know, not musically, but lyrically, I guess. That's how it's supposed to be listened to. Bless it through the house with your fucking parents. Motherfucker! Ugh. Awesome. Uh, oh, um, Blood Out Gang. The yeah. <laughs> Only Prince would sing about. <laughs> Don't even go to that level. I know those lyrics because the song is overplayed. It's a catchy chord though, the chorus is catchy. Oh, uh, push it, salt and papa. My mom loves this for some reason. Well, she loves music from her time, you know, 80s, 90s, cheese like this. Just as the musicians say, this mid 80s rump shaker isn't for everybody. Only the sexy I, I believe I've listened to this with my mom, so. While mom and dad might surprise you by getting down to the opening beat, their facial expressions will most likely transform from excitement to pure shock. But I got this from my mom, so. What? Push. What do I just date as fuck, but I do like this song, though. It's sketchy. Although the beat is kind of awkward. But rather, express a desire to pump hard and push it good. <laughs> and that's your cue to press the next button. Yeah. I wouldn't really go out of my way to listen to this, but it's, it's alright. <laughs> oh, I get it. Push it real good. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> I, I just got it. I just got the song. Like, no one, like, everyone is looking at me like, oh my gosh, you're such a fucking retard, but... Oh, I, I, I get the song now, fucking hell. <laughs> That's actually, genuinely, me being surprised that that song, yeah, it's about that. Push it. I get it now. Yeah. It sounds like he's puking on this track. This guy's just a bachelor and looking for a partner, right? The opening lyrics convey a man okay. seeking love, but then Genuine expresses his desire to break a woman off, and he's not talking about how you break off a candy bar. Oh, okay. If your parents don't initially pick up on the sexual nature of Pony, the rather blunt first line of the chorus should make it clear. You're horny, let's do it. However, it's rather sweet that Genuine has such a fascination with poets. Oh, fucking disgusting. Uh, that's kind of gross. Yeah, next one. I mean, if he wants to do hump pony, that's his thing. Oh, fucking no. Number five. Tonight, I'm fucking you. Enrique Iglesias, featuring Ludacris and DJ Frank. I mean, if you're humping a pony, you're done. Like, if you're getting behind a pony or a horse for that matter, you're fucking done. I'm not, I'm not an animal expert, but if you stand behind an animal like that, he's gonna kick the shit out of you. 
And I mean, I would do the same thing. Don't stand behind me, bitch. Much like his father, but he took a more direct approach with this 2010 club bag. The lyrics are generally PG-13, but mm. the chorus is Yeah, none to not fucking you. PG-13? Yeah, in general, but except for the chorus. Much like the notorious B.I.G. with number 10 entry, Whoa. Oasis has no secret about his plans for the evening. In fact, one might come to the conclusion that he's planning sexual intercourse. Oh. Did not expect that. Whatever happens, it's out of tune. Subtle. It's out of tune and subtle, mate. Whoa. Number four, Lady Marmalade. Christina Aguilera, Little Kim, Maya, and Pink. Okay. This sexier cover of the 1974 La Belle hit, which comes off of the soundtrack for the 2001 film La Rouge, retains the famous chorus. Oh yeah, these are all the bitches. Pink, Christina Aguilera, I believe Nicki Minaj is in there. Fucking hell. All of them hoes are in there. may initially snicker at the Lil' Kim's Atari reference. They'll squirm when they realize the true symbolism of her joystick. <laughs> Gross. choo 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 Number two. Disgusting. I mean, this opening bit is okay. I mean, I, I don't hate the Spice Girls. I've called them sluts lots of time, but that doesn't mean I hate the Spice Girls. They have okay songs. This opening bit is okay. That Spice one looks cute, you know, with the green one, with the green shirt. Those look less slow though. Sluts. This Spice Girls 1996 I mean the the green screen is so obvious. I mean come on. Which a nervous dad was forced to endure to become one with his daughter over and over and over again. Put it on, put it on to become one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to become one. Fuck off. <laughs> no. How is it mischievous? They're just talking about fucking. Like the sparkles usually do. I like the beginning bit though with the green chick. That was nice. Hi, Kia. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Did they just blur that out, suck his dick or something? What the fuck? Don't stop, just do it. The dick got big and long. Isn't that the si well? Yeah, I guess. Secretly enjoy listening to my neck, my back. Ironically, with friends, this is one song that you'll never want your parents to learn about, ever. My back and my crack, bitch. Don't even go there. Number two. Oh yeah, oh my god, that was really fucking obvious though. Red Light Special DLC. The fuck this song. Fucking sluts. You oughta know. She go down the hill in the theater. 
What's the number one though? It's probably really obvious, but like every watch movie video. Oh shit, I forgot the timer. What's your fantasy look who's featuring Shauna? Uh, dirty Christina Aguilera featuring Redman. Obvious much? Yeah, just who those men fucking slow. I mean, but if anyone would be a slut, yeah, it would be her. Well, if anyone would be perfect for that. This number one choice right here, yeah, it's good. It's kind of relay uh, similar to. The, the previous video songs are stripped too, but I guess. But this song is disturbing as fuck. Yeah, don't listen to this with your parents. Number one, closer, nine inch nails. Perfect. You let me dance In 1994, Trent Reznor released this iconic industrial rock sensation, which became a guilty pleasure for people of all ages. Mm. Trent Reznor is a fucking dude, man. Fucking wolf, Trent Reznor. I want to fuck you like an animal. Yeah, they know. They know. I wanna do you from the inside. Every human being should make it a light. I wanna fuck you like an animal. Hey. Otherwise, they will desecrate you, and it will complicate you. Avoid the situation at all costs. I wanna feel like an animal. I wanna feel you from the inside. So, do you agree with our selection? What is your favorite song? I'll keep it play. Fuck all, mate. I'm just getting into closure and they end it. Fucking hell, man. Red Light Special DLC. Okay. Oh, what is this garbage? Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> Fucking voice crack right there. And there we go. Um, yeah, let's check if we have some good comments here. I've listened to all, the, all of these songs from my parents most of the time, then playing it in the car. That's what happens when you and your parents are close. <coughs> Those are good parents right there. One could also say top the songs that you shouldn't listen to with your kids. That's, that's a good one. Yeah, because you're gonna disturb the shit out of them, especially with the number one song. And you're gonna make them swear a lot with, uh, with that rage song. I mean, just let, look at me. My parents don't understand English so song. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Fun fact, if your parents don't speak English, all of those songs are absolutely fine. Exactly. 1.2k uh, 1. 1. Uh, likes if I can fucking speak. What if they're French? Same thing. <laughs> uh, my mom loves the song push. My mom also loves the song push it. Mine too. Mine too. <laughs> Every everyone's mom. Mom's favorite song is Push It. Like, <laughs> Push It is a mom's anthem. Like, literally, Mom and Green. My mom's favorite song is Push It. Mine too, but official, official little DJ. Terrible name. And my mother too, so there we go. Coincidence? I think not. Three in a row. How is I touch myself from the, 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 the vinyls? Uh, not on the list. Much, le much less number one. Especially. Especially, exactly, fuck no. But the only reason I even know most of these songs is because of my parents. <laughs> Girl, I know, right? My mom listened to Rage Against the Machine. Your mom is awesome. Mom, both my parents do. Awesome parents. Watching this with my parents. <laughs> Oh, genius. Uh, lol, my mom is the one who showed me the song Pony. Oh, your mom is disgusting, man. Uh, what about short dick man by 20 fingers? There's nothing more explicit than that. Yeah, but what most doesn't know that. Blurred lines and a conda booty. Uh, gross. Uh, okay, but not a single song by Simon Curtis. Wow, that's disappointing. 
I listen to Kid in the Name with my dad, without my mom, of course. Why? That's kind of sexist, but sure. Uh, Anaconda by Nicki Minaj, the worst of all time, thank you. Uh, Tupac hit him up. Candy Show 50 Cent and uh, Anaconda by Nicki Minaj. That's a genius, genius title. I mean, that bitch doesn't take the music seriously, so why should we? Uh, but thank you, thank you for watching this video. Uh, let me know what are your favorite songs to to not listen to with your parents. Yeah, probably number one, Rage Against the Machine. Uh, the other songs on the list, ah, I forgot the. Besides those two acts, I forgot the whole list, so there we go. Thank you for watching this video. Um, yeah, all the same as you said, like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff to support the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later on.